Alright, so, um, shortly after I had just posted or, or uploaded my live stream, um, I felt myself trying to go into a sleep. You know, I remember I, I ended my stream at like 1.37. Um, my alarm doesn't go off until about 3 a.m. You know, I was listening to uh, I was listening to a, a healing frequency to repair my pineal gland because I know they they have access to my pineal gland. So I was trying to see if I can heal my pineal gland while I sleep. And I'm also listening to um, I'm also listening to um, you know proverbs while I got while I'm going to sleep. So I start off I started off with Proverbs one. As I was trying to go to sleep, you know, I felt myself slipping to sleep. And then next thing you know, I entered in what you would call the like a lucid almost dream state where you're not necessarily sleep, but you're not necessarily awoke. And I remember hearing at that point where it goes to Proverbs 11, I remember hearing the um, the audio, um, the, the voice of the guy who reads off the Bible. I, I remember hearing him read off Proverbs 11. In that moment, I'm lying down on my right side. I have two pillows. One pillow was kind of positioned in front of, you know, like basically, um, pillow was about here going down to um, my, my groin area and then another pillow was just kind of on top of my left side of my body. I don't know, I was just sleeping like that and I had covers over. While I was feeling myself um, trying to go to sleep, all of a sudden it felt like someone was pressing their knee right into my solar plexus. Remember, I'm the only one in my room at this time. There's no one else in my room. But it felt like someone was like pressing their knee into my solar plexus, or it felt like, like you know how like when you just set a, set a, like a, like a, a one year old or a one and a half year old baby like right on your stomach. It literally, and then it, it felt like someone was trying to press my, my like, 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 it was like right here. It was here. It was like here and here. And it felt like someone was like, like pressing down into me. Remember, I'm lying on my right side. So if I'm lying on my right side, it's like from here to here. And it was coming down. The last time I've actually seen something like that, I remember reading about um, different, um, different um, cultural and religious um, spiritual energies or deities. And I remember there's there's a name of a uh, of an African is an African deity. Um, that literally sits on the stomach of its victim, making them feel as if they can't breathe. Now, interesting enough, while I was kind of like slowly coming out of that sleep state, I think, I think at that point I had woken up once I felt that pressure coming down on me. Strangely enough, I know that it's directed energy, but then this, this, this technology is also bridging that gap. It's, it's actually, it's, it's, it's bridging that gap between the spiritual world and the physical world, right? Because that's what this technology is doing. It's bridging the gap between the spiritual world and the, tech, and the technical world. Now, I, it's, it's crazy for me to say this, it's the strangest thing for me to say 
because I know it's technology, I, I was almost kind of impressed by the idea of it. And I was just like, I can't believe I felt that much pressure on my body. Like, like, like literally the weight of something crushing down on my solar plexus and my, like the top left end of my ribs. And then, at the, and then right after I, you know, acknowledge the, you know, the intriguingness of, or the, the um, right after I acknowledge what was happening, I then began to say a prayer, or rather, um, ask that, you know, God in the fallen, not the fallen, it was God in the Holy Angels, Christ, I, well, first, the first thing I did was I, I pled the blood of Jesus over all things that are coming against me. And, um, you know, then I just started asking for forgiveness and repenting for, um, my past transgressions, anything that I've, I've done, you know, so, but like, you know, shortly after I gotten over that feeling, um, you know, I, I found myself trying to go back to sleep, and of course the handlers, the, they're all talking like, now everybody knows you, everybody's watching, the whole city is watching, you don't know that you're setting yourself up for failure, all this all these things, right? And still at the same time, I find myself saying, remember Chris, just continue to stand in the light. No matter what they do, just continue standing in the light. They want me to fear them more than I fear God. They want people in this world to fear them more than fearing God. You gotta remember, Ain't no human being in this planet or in this world is going to give you what God can give you. When you die, that's the last time you'll ever have influence over from another human being. At that point, you will be directed or controlled by either God or everything that's worse off than God. Always remember that. So anytime you feel like you're being attacked, first thing you do is you plead the blood of blood, the blood of Jesus over, or you um you ask um, your guardian angels to step in and you know come against any any principalities of evil that that are trying to work against you. Do not give your free will away to no human being or no entity in this world, because everything that's in this world that's working against your favor is trying to condemn you from God. Do not allow that to happen to you. Alright? Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this because I need to preserve my battery since, you know, the handlers, they basically prevent my, my phone from being able to charge when it's on. So I always have to turn my phone on in order for my phone to charge, even if it's plugged into the wall. Um, but remember, I explained this in the, in the video, you know, scalar weaponization and how they can basically, you know, interfere with the electromagnetic circuits of a device. So, um, hey, remember what I always say, take life with one breath, one thought, one step, one day at a time.